Hello ladies and gentlemen, Steve Allegrim here and welcome back to Ingest 2 Mobile News. This is where we talk about the challenges, the arena season character, what's in the store, what's in the special offers, so basically what's worth your money, your gems and your time. And at the end of it, we'll have a small chest, not so small, a decent chest opening from a subscriber that tried to open the hero chest in order to get Arkham Knight Batman and we'll see what that went. So with that being said, please do subscribe if you enjoyed this video and let's get into it. The arena season character is going to be my boy Shazam, it's been a long time since I've seen this dude and I'm so happy. So first special doesn't do a thing, second special is going to heal the lost health teammate. Eh, that's decent, third special is going to heal the entire team, that's what I'm talking about already. Now getting into the passives, you're going to receive reduced uh, critical attack damage, because of this you're going to get a decent amount of attack added for might and arcane opponents. That's why he always go, usually goes in the team with King. And uh, this will be a pretty useful ability for a 9 CA, maybe uh, allowing you to trigger the special tree for free. But in uh, Raid Stories it will be annoying because it will uh, not allow you to use him as a combo builder because he triggers that randomly, even when you don't need to. But overall, Shazam is an amazing character. Shazam is maybe the best character in the game for Champions Arena. Shazam is a must-have support. Shazam is a must-have character, he has a place in the top 6 teams. Do your best to get him, gem refresh if you need to, but at the end of the season do not come to me and tell me you didn't get at the very least Elite 1 because that's unacceptable my dude, you need Shazam. As you can see my excitement kind of faded a bit when talking about the other characters, so special 1 doesn't do a thing, special 2 doesn't do a thing, special 3 does a little bit of a dot damage though, it's a pitiful amount, do trust me on that one, and the passive is going to be actually a pretty good passive making her a very good tank, but that's all she is, a tank, a very good tank. And unfortunately for her, we don't have any game mode where you are demanded to have a very strong tank. She's supposed to be very good in Arena 9 Champions Arena, but any character can do in Arena 9 Champions Arena, so that's the problem with Starfire. If we had like a survivor mode, one of the best characters in the game, let's go, but we don't have that, so yeah, that's Starfire. Uh, I guess you can farm her challenge, like she's not the must-have character, but she's a useful character, and as I said, she shines in Arena 9 Champions Arena, even though any character can shine over there. The other challenge character is going to be Batman Ninja Robin. For this challenge you need League of Arcade characters, so hope you do have them, but if you do definitely farm this because he's a very good character. First special is going to blind the opponent, second special is going to tag out the opponent, particularly useful when fighting less of the Joker in uh, Rise Krypton Soul Raids. Not right. Dawn of Apocalypse, excuse me for that one. Third special is going to deal damage, have armor piercing and heal you for the damage dealt. But none of that really matters because the main things while you have, we want him over here is combo kit, allowing your Batman Ninja team to build combo much faster. And the main thing, the main attraction is going to be Ninja Lethality, increasing the little attack damage of your team when you trigger a little and it stacks, it stacks a lot. And he's the only reason why Batman Jack Catwoman deals damage. If this guy did not exist, Batman Jack Catwoman would be garbage. So definitely farm him. He's definitely worth uh, it. I, I don't remember if uh, uh, the gem refresh uh, costed like normal amounts, like 50 gems the first time, or uh, like 100 or 200. If he costs 50 gems the first time, you can even gem refresh this if you're able to, because he's a very good character. Okay, now getting into a store section, we're going to have the share reality chest over here. And it's going to have a chance for all the multiverse characters with increased chances for uh, Green Arrow, White Canary, Super Eagle. So yeah, let's take a look at the picture and break down the multiverse characters. I'm gonna be a little bit faster than usual because uh, I could stay here and talk a lot about them, but let's be quicker. So. Multiverse of Flash, amazing character, must have character, great combo builder, must have support for Multiverse Armor Supergirl, is in the arena season. Not that often, but he is there. Multiverse Supergirl, great character for Arena and Champions Arena, totally useless uh, in raids and soul raids, but uh, she's going to um, be in the arena seasons very often, so you'll get her from there. Multiverse Black Lightning, very good character at the start of the game because of the armor piercing on special tree, later on kind of useless in the arena seasons very often, you'll get him from there. Multiverse Captain Colt, an okay character is often in the arena season, you'll get him from there. Multiverse White Canary, eh, she's in the arena season often and I don't really want to talk about her. Nah, she, she, she's not great. Multiverse Green Arrow, an amazing character, though not a must-have character. Though he, he's pretty good. The Multiverse Armor, Supergirl, a great damage dealer, one of the top tier damage dealers. One of the best damage dealers like fighting Captain Cold and one of the top six teams in Royal Scripton Sword Raids. And also the only reason why you would want this chest. 
He's in theory an arena season character, but it's almost been a year since we've seen her there, so um, I don't know about that one. But yeah, the only reason why I would buy this, uh, to be real with you, is for Multiverse Armored Supergirl. Not Multiverse Supergirl, the armored one. So, you got, to, let's, if we count Flash as well, we got a 2% chance to get something nice from this. So, not, not on full price at the very least. Don't. United Hero Chest. So, Superman here is a very good drop. He's a legendary. You'll, of course, need his gears, which are going to cost 10 bucks or up to 30k gems from his gear chest. Uh, Just Nick Cyborg, again, a good drop. This, he's a chest exclusive character. He's an amazing drop from here. Mythic Wonder Woman. Uh, I don't like her. She's only good in Arena NCA. Uh, and uh, she uh, is in the Arena season, so you'll get her from there. Just like Flash, he's great. He's a must have character. He will always have a place in the top six teams, but he's in the Arena season, so you'll get him from there. Aquaman, a support for the budget Just League team, not support for the maxed out Just League team. Arena Seasons, there you go. Just like Batman, trash character, Arena Seasons if you want him. So yeah, the only reasons why we want this is for Cyborg and uh, Just like Superman. Again, I do not recommend this. First of all, it's not on sale and the true price is not worth it. And second of all, if you want to unlock Cyborg since he only unlocks uh, he, on he unlocks at only 80 shards, so that's all you need. It's better to try to unlock him from the uh, Just League shard chest. Not from this one, you'll have far better odds. Now, uh, the premium chest. With Thrawn Poison Ivy, she has an armor pierce on the special too, so she will be good for new players. But look, if you're a new player, you can open either of this. If, if you are like in the first two weeks of playing the game, then you still need new characters to play Arena and Champions Arena. You can open either of this uh, instead of this one. But if you are past that, then nah. Now getting into the special offers. So we got uh, Women Power Bundle. Damn, we got a lot of powerful women over here. So, yeah, look, look, I'm, I'm not even going to go ahead and uh, go over all of them. You get a three-star uh, gold character. Uh, it's not that expensive, so if you want to throw some money at it, go ahead, my dude, throw some money at it. But uh, be, be real with yourself and uh, remember that you got uh, a total of um, an 11% chance to get something good. And you're gambling with real money, not with gems. And no, I'm not counting uh, Golden Armor Wonder Woman over there because she's possibly the worst uh, legendary character in the game. Or the second worst. And you'll need her gears, so additional money paid on that. Let's have the Joker bundle. Um, I don't know. Th does he have gears separately? So yeah, if you need his gears, you could get them separately or you could get a 3-star bundle because it's just a little bit more and also gives you 160 shards for him. Uh, but yeah, he drops his shards from uh, raid drops if you're patient enough, so do keep that in mind. And we get gears for Harley and EPI. First of all, rep for the people who uh, did not get the chance to get them from when they were in the challenges and need arena store. Second of all, I do appreciate that they decreased the price because those were higher price. Second of all, third of all, I don't appreciate that they don't put them at level 10 and at uh, further half the price. So yeah, twenty dollars for a level thirty gear set. You you do you, my dude. If you need them, get them, I guess. Now we got the Kryptonite Pro bundle, and this is going to have three, uh, two Kryptonite artifacts, uh, some gear materials, and uh, some uh, Kryptonite uh, artifact fragments. So yeah, if you're looking for uh, Royal Krypton artifacts, this is exactly the price that you would pay for two Kryptonite artifacts, and in addition, you're getting some gear materials and some Kryptonite artifact fragments. There is a little bit of a better one in my opinion, though the Kryptonite uh, fragments are not bad, but there is one who gives you at the price of uh, one Kryptonite artifact, I mean how it's normally priced in the normal bundle. It gives you also 10 artifact reforges, I think that's better in my opinion, but you can go for this one as well. And yeah, that's it for the special offers. Let's take a look at that dude's chest opening and in advance. Thank you so much for watching. Please do like, and subscribe, and share if you enjoyed this. Dislike it if you dislike it. Maybe hit that bell button. I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye. Okay, so let's get into my guy's chest opening. So yeah, huge thanks to Yang Shoda for sending me this. He's trying to get Arcanite Baton from this, which is not necessarily recommended. And keep in mind, uh, his luck will not necessarily apply to you. Okay, so, so far 20 chests and nothing. Opening 10 more, 30 chests and nothing, yeah that's fine, that's fine, still still plenty of gems to be spent. 
40 chests and nothing. Fifty just nothing. But look, there there are gems there still. Sixty chests and nothing. Oh boy. Seventy chests and nothing. They starting to suck over here. Oh, eighty chests and nothing. Okay, so over here he opens one. And in the last gems that he had available, that's a legendary. There's a 50-50 between Darkseid and Arkham Knight Batman, and that is an Arkham Knight Batman, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.